Welcome back, everybody. So I think the time has come for me to bring in some villagers into this place. Before I start building down below, I'm going to actually just move the villagers up into the city, which includes moving one here. And that's going to, I'll have to convert him to a cleric because I want a cleric standing up there. And I'm pretty sure this is going to work, but I'm hoping... I'll put him in here and he's on this honey block and he can't jump out. And then this will be closed. So he won't be able to jump out once I get him in there. So that's that's the hope. And then eventually I'm going to move some zombies into here. But I need some name tags and stuff and I only have like two name tags. And I want to put at least three zombies per section over there. And it's either zombies or Zombies or villagers? I'm not sure which. I may end up putting villagers over there because it's easy. I won't need to get the name tags. Otherwise, I'm going to have to create a um, like a librarian and level him up until he's got cheap name tags that I can get. But it may actually make more sense to have these all be clerics too, because I can uh, put down this uh, brewing stand, convert them. And then if I trade with them, they shouldn't trade back once I get the um, once I get the uh, brewing stand gone. They won't be able to renew their stuff because there is no brewing stand. But I think, at least I will find out. I think that's how that's going to work. So the trick, though, is I have to go all the way down here. Now, I probably should move villagers up, like, into this area and up here. But they're all going to have to go through here. Because I've got all my villagers over in that area. I wonder if I put a bed down, will they make new villagers that I can move around? Do I have a... Well, I can do make a bed. Three of the, oh, no, I have a bed. Don't need to make a bed. I have a bed. I'm just curious. If I put a bed over there, will they start making new villagers? So I've already got this here. Actually, I don't need to go all the way down here, I don't think. I can pick up these. Oops, what, did, did I drop? Did it not come down? Did I pick it up? No, I didn't pick it up. I must have lost it. Is this... Uh, yeah, it's not a, uh, oh, it's not silk touch, that's why. That's yeah, okay. Pick up there, let's grab this and this and this. I guess I'm going to make the track first. Yeah, so I would do track. There. Here, I'm going to put the bed down. Put the bed down there. Maybe you guys will... Uh, I don't know if that causes them. They may need food. Maybe that's the thing too. So if I do... Let's, let's pick this up. You know, I moved them all down here with the rails, but it didn't take that long. I just had to shove them down the hill. But I think if I do, let's do this, and then I'm going to do that. So, oops. I'm going to do that. So now if I do a minecart, it should pick up somebody and come back this way. Really, I'm just trying to make sure they, they don't. Oops, that right? Yeah. I feel like they're going to try and run out as soon as I... Oh, maybe if I put... Something like that?
There, that should keep them from running away. We'll just do this. If that's I don't think that's gonna push them all the way up though. There. That should give them enough momentum to keep going. And then they'll go through here, so they can't really get through there right now. Ooh, good thing I went down there. There's a rail. And then I just need to do this. Let's do What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm just bouncing all over the place. This may take uh, more powered rail than I thought it would. But I do have a high elevation to overcome. So let's go here, here. This should be interesting. I've got plenty of rail. Rail's not a problem. It's the uh, powered rail, which becomes an issue because it takes gold, and I don't have that much gold on me. A lot of my gold is, was, uh, I was getting it from my gold farm, and that doesn't work as well as it used to years and years ago. So most of mine comes from mining now. This should be interesting. This is, wish there was an easier way to transport villagers. Especially, I, I think with the there were like villager changes in the new ver 121, I think. So the villagers had to, uh, or like biome specific. So you're going to have villagers in special biomes to get like, but I don't know if they're actually going to do it, but like you can only get a mending book from certain villagers in certain biomes, which seems kind of, you know, it's, it's fine to encourage, you know, trans, you know, looking around and stuff but I think you should be able to easily transport them because you're going to have to go get your villager from one of those other biomes and move it to wherever you want your villager hall or your central village you know place and that could be thousands of miles away I mean I've got some biomes which I've got this whole world's huge and I've got like one or two biomes which are thousands of blocks apart from each other Am I supposed to do a rail system like this or having to be trying to get in the boat? Because you can't go up in a boat. You can only go down. So it's like. Or do the old stupid set a bed down, wait for him to uh, chase it, and then go on to, you know, move the bed again, wait for him to chase it. That's just ridiculous. So you should at least be able to convince villagers to either follow you or maybe put them on the back of a horse or a camel or something, that would be, see, that would be good. If I could actually get the villager on the back of a horse, I could ride the horse and take them wherever they need to go. I don't see a problem with that. But this idea that I'm going to have to go to, you know, a thousand blocks away to get a villager so I can have a mending book and go another thousand to get a villager so I can infinity or silk touch or something. And then you want them all in the same spot because who wants to go a thousand blocks apart to go, you know, buy a book? Yeah, it's just kind of a pain. I mean, it really doesn't matter to me because I got, you know, 
I've got old villagers and they're all set up and I've got my, you know, what I need for books. But if I was doing a new world or something, that just seems like a pain, a royal pain. And then if they add new enchants, then you really, I'm really going to have to move. Okay, so the rail comes all the way up here. I figure the rail car will go bam, hit the wall, drop down, and the villager will be down there. And then I can just sneak through here and break out that, break the mine cart. And then I can start removing all the dirt. So I think, so that is the plan. But we'll see if that plan actually comes to fruition. Is that, yeah, fruition. How's that for a fancy word? And I'm not really sure how many powered rails I'm going to need. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them through there. I've got, what, 54 of them. So I'm hoping... I can put enough through here. If they get stuck, I guess I can run up here and just push. Give them a shove. Give them a little shove, shove. So let's do this because I figure it's going to slow down coming through these curves here. Now, once I get the uh, villagers in my church, I can just, uh, then I can just sprinkle the rest of them around town here i feel once they get out here like where there's you know houses and beds and stuff they'll start making more villagers i could probably even do some encouragement you know, food is a great motivator for them they like to eat okay so here's where i think it's going to be very important put these power rails there I figure that's going to push everything up once it gets over the top that'll be the you know the, that'll be good so once it gets up here it's fine but it needs it's got this steep incline here We'll try it right here, maybe. And maybe one like right here. Maybe here. Oh, I think I'm going to have enough. I mean, I've got gold. I can make more of these if I need to, but I'd rather not. Um, there. Oh, look at that. Almost all the way. Okay, of course it doesn't look like the villagers are, ooh, that one looks like he's going to, gonna go, let's try this. Dang it. Why, why? No, no, go away, no, don't go away. Come on, come back here. Don't worry about stopping there. Empty minecarts don't travel as fast as full minecarts. So. so a loaded minecart should travel faster. <gasps> Look at that. Okay. 
Let's hurry. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I take a little damage going through there, but not as much as you'd think. Look at that. I think he's making it. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, this is looking good, looking good. Looking good. Oh, okay, so he's stuck there, but that's that's no problem. I can... Well, what did I do? I missed the block there. No wonder. Okay, so that wasn't my, it wasn't the track's fault. That was my fault. Okay. And... Oh, he made it. Perfect. Release. That's looking good. Uh, oh, I don't have a shovel. Oh, well. that no, let's do that I think you can get to that one we'll see can you get to can you reach that block there <gasps> he can look at that So I just need some zombie flesh. Let's go lock him in. And then we'll take away his uh, brewing stand. Because I can use it for the other ones. I'm thinking they all should be clerics. I'm just going to do with the... I'm just going to go with clerics. Because... You know... The other ones, I can't think of other ones that would be in the choir. Maybe that's not a choir. Maybe that's just like a, a cadre. Cadre? Maybe it's just a group of other priests who stand there and pay attention while things are going on. I guess I can take all of it. Let's take all of this. And then um, let's just make a... Uh, don't have I'm sure I have slabs and wood and stuff everywhere but I would just make a barrel to hold it in then I can have, have a place to put all my zombie flesh I have not found a spawner around here it has got to be a spawner around here someplace I've just not found one There we go. Oops, I actually ran out of ran out of rotten flesh before a trade was out. So. Okay, that's good. So that should lock him in. I wish it was like emeralds for gold. Now I I could I would like that. Because I, I needed an easier way to get gold besides trying to do some piglin farm or some kind of monkey business like that. So that's good. If I get rid of this. Let's see, does he stay? He does, that's good. I think the only thing, only side effect of that is it doesn't renew his um, enchants and stuff. So I may have to think of a way, another way to do that. Yeah, I wonder, this may cause me to do this. Do that there, and I can get around here. 
I put that there. No, that doesn't work there. Okay. Get that there. If I take this out. That's good. See, this is on the bottom half. No, I need that there. Okay. I'm actually trying to think of a way to maybe put the brewing stand beside him. But I don't think that's going to work. You're just going to have to live without your brewing stand. I mean, I'm not using you for trading anyhow. You're supposed to be up here reading out of your little zombie book or whatever. So, so I just need to get some over there. But I think I'm going to have to figure out a way to start breeding some more of them. Because 3, 6, 9. So I need 18. There's not 18 down there in the pen. But I know this works now. So this is good. So once I get the other villagers, I can run a line over on this to this side and do the same thing. Yeah, so we'll just have the rail go like this. Yeah, and I can dump all of them down there one by one. Or I can just keep moving it back. So I think once this is in here, yeah, that's too low. So they'll be trapped in there. But I could, uh, yeah, so I could put them in their own separate little spots. So like this one could go here. Yeah, so once it goes off the rail, I'll run into that. And it should not go any far. Hopefully it won't go all the way over. So the rail will drop off. They'll drop down there. And be trapped in this section. I can do another one in the middle section, one in that section, and then get rid of the thing. Because it's going to be a um, kind of a pain. Let's do. Looks like it's going to be a pain. Does that go around corners? This does not go around corners. To get the uh, minecart out from underneath them if they're all standing in there, because they tend to uh, kind of clump up clump together and make it harder so okay so now I can move them over there once I get some more of them so I think uh, now I just need to figure out how I'm going to get them all you know bred up and I mean uh, so let me uh, actually let me uh, check out for this episode and we'll pick it up in the next one so thank you very much for watching i hope you're having a good day and i'll uh, i'll see you later because i probably if i keep at this we're going to be going on for hours and so i'm just going to break it up into a few easier to digest segments bye bye now <laughs>